If you've been experiencing pain in your bones and joints, you are definitely not alone. Millions of people around the world are experiencing joint pain and inflammation daily in various parts of the body. If you've already seen a doctor, then they've probably already given you a prescription for medication to alleviate the pain. Or maybe you're searching for natural remedies to relieve these unwanted symptoms that can be done from the comfort of your own home. If so, you're in the right place because that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. Be sure to watch until the end because there's one remedy that not too many people know about. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. The first method that I want to mention is to take an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt, otherwise known as magnesium sulfate, has been used for centuries to treat muscle pain, arthritis, and fibromyalgia. With magnesium at its core, Epsom salt naturally relaxes muscles. Since 50% of the United States population is magnesium deficient, soaking in an Epsom salt bath has the potential to normalize magnesium levels and treat a wide range of diseases, including joint pain. To make this type of bath, dissolve one or two cups of Epsom salt in warm water and soak in it for as long as desired. Another remedy to try is herbal tea. Many herbal teas have compounds that can reduce the inflammation responsible for bone and joint pain. For example, ginger tea has been shown to assist people who suffer from osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis due to its high phenolic content. Rosehip tea is also anti-inflammatory due to the galactolipids that it contains. Galactolipids can also reduce the pain associated with both types of arthritis. Willow bark tea is another natural herbal tea that reduces the sensation of pain. Thankfully, this means that we can choose to eat healthy, anti-inflammatory foods in order to improve our overall health. First and foremost, try to limit sugar, refined carbohydrates, and preservatives that are common in processed foods. Instead, eat fruits, vegetables, fish, beans, nuts, healthy fats, and whole grains, as they promote a healthy lifestyle and reduce unnecessary inflammation. In other words, eat natural, unadulterated food that is in its whole form and your bones and joints will greatly appreciate it. The next technique is to try hot and cold therapy. The healing action behind hot and cold therapy is due to an increase in blood circulation. When heat therapy is applied, blood flow increases, and when cold therapy is applied, blood vessels contract, pushing blood away from the area. In this way, the contrast between hot and cold creates a pump-like action that flushes toxins away from the damaged area, while allowing nutrients to flow in. You may also consider consuming more omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are anti-inflammatory compounds that can play a key role in alleviating pain in your joints. One study found that subjects reported lower levels of pain when consuming fish oil supplements. A similar study concluded that a daily dose as low as 2.6 grams of omega-3 for one year may reduce the need for anti-rheumatic medication. If your doctor recommends it, you can consider taking a fish oil supplement. Or you can simply eat more foods that are high in omega-3s. Some examples include salmon, tuna, mahi-mahi, sardines, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and avocado. The next technique on our list is to try capsaicin cream. Capsaicin is an active compound of chili peppers that is known for having pain-relieving effects. One study found that the topical application of a 0.025% capsaicin cream was shown to reduce pain by 57% in patients with rheumatoid arthritis and 33% in patients with osteoarthritis. While two of the study participants had to withdraw due to the burning sensation, most of the other participants recorded positive results overall. Therefore, using this cream on your painful joints is something to consider. And we couldn't have made this video without mentioning turmeric. Turmeric is often known as the king of natural health remedies. That is because of its anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial, and strong antioxidant properties. Multiple studies on osteoarthritis have shown that turmeric extract can act as a therapeutic aid and reduce pain symptoms. 
Typically, turmeric supplements are combined with black pepper in order to improve bioavailability as turmeric in its natural form isn't absorbed by the body. But again, as long as you get approval from your doctor, this is definitely a supplement to consider. Switching gears just a bit, yoga is another therapeutic technique to consider. That is because the lack of muscle flexibility and strength and balance is often directly responsible for pain in your bones and joints. The good news is that these imbalances can be remedied with a stretching routine. Using yoga as a way to not only reduce joint pain but to eliminate it is often possible. Many patients who elect to have surgery for joint pain often do so unnecessarily, as they could have corrected the issue with routine yoga sessions. In a study on knee arthritis and yoga, there was evidence that yoga reduces knee pain, decreases stiffness, and improves functionality, which can enhance the well-being of people suffering from arthritis. And that leads to the next technique on our list, which is acupuncture. Acupuncture has a long history as a natural remedy for many diseases. It's a form of alternative medicine where thin needles are inserted into the body. One study was performed on the effects of acupuncture on patients with osteoarthritis knee pain. The results were promising because the subjects reported both short and long-term improvement in knee functionality. The next remedy can be performed from the comfort of your own home, and it is to try an olive oil massage. As a general rule of thumb, deep tissue massages are a great way to reduce bone and joint pain as it increases blood circulation to a specific area. With that said, using olive oil during massage is even better because it contains the compound oluropine that is directly responsible for reducing inflammation. In a four-week study, women who rubbed extra virgin olive oil onto their joints had less pain than those who used other medicated creams. Now, it may be a bit messy, but this is definitely something to consider if you want to get rid of painful sensations in your bones and joints. So just to give a quick recap, the remedies to help alleviate joint pain that you can consider include to try an Epsom salt bath, herbal tea, anti-inflammatory foods, hot and cold therapy, omega-3 fatty acids, capsaicin cream, turmeric, yoga, acupuncture, and olive oil massage. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Millions of people around the world are looking for natural remedies to treat bone and joint pain and make unwanted arthritis symptoms go away. Hopefully the information that you learned in this video can help you do just that. With that said, keep in mind that we are not doctors and this video should not be taken as medical advice. Again, this video is for informational purposes only. But hopefully you learned a thing or two and hopefully you're now one step closer to improving your overall health and thus improving the overall quality of your life. If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to learn even more about this topic, we do have a full guide on our website. I'll drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.